Hey friends, Alex here at The Code Wolf again, and today we're going to be looking at the C Sharp Dev Kit, so let's check it out. So aside from the fact that it's just a good thing to know about, there's actually another reason I want to talk about the C Sharp Dev Kit. And that's because as a .NET developer, I've always had sort of this internal struggle of whether to use VS Code or Visual Studio for my development. I think Visual Studio is a bit more powerful experience, it has more features, and it feels a little more robust, uh, especially for enterprise app development. But oftentimes it can also feel very heavy or a little bit bloated. There's a lot of features in there that I never use and a lot of menus that just kind of clog up the UI. But then when I switch over to VS Code, that feels light and fast and responsive, but it can also feel a little bit bare bones or like some core features are missing. And then of course you can start to install extensions to fix that, but then the UI can feel a little bit disjointed. Um, and so I've never really found like the exact middle ground that I'm looking for. Well, with the new C Sharp dev kit, I feel like this might be kind of the closest we've uh, had to that middle ground. The dev kit essentially adds some core features from Visual Studio into VS Code um, and brings along with it just some nice features in general. So let's take a look at what this has to offer and see what the experience is like. So if we look at our extensions, um, if you just search for C Sharp here, you'll wanna click on this C Sharp dev kit. And if you install that, that'll also come with the uh, base C Sharp extension. So that includes some core language features. And you'll end up with both of these extensions in installed. So just take care of that if you wanna follow along. And after you install that, one of the main things you'll notice is that now we have this solution explorer. And this is sort of like an essentials version of the Solution Explorer in Visual Studio. And I actually really like this. So this includes a lot of the features that you might miss from Visual Studio. So if I right click on this, you can see we have a build. So I'll let that finish for a second. Um, so clean and rebuild here. And there's other nice things here too. So if I were to expand our Blazor project here, you can see we get our dependencies node back. So now we can see our analyzers and we can see our packages and we can see our project dependencies. Those are all listed right here in this nice uh, sort of solution view, rather than just the pure file folder structure. So if I were to collapse this and expand our more traditional VS Code view, you can see this more closely mirrors a folder structure, which can also be really nice. It feels sort of uh, responsive and lightweight and more true to what's actually on your file system, obviously. Um, so this kind of allows you to toggle back and forth between them. And I really like being able to do that because sometimes there's things the Solution Explorer provides that I miss when I don't have that. So for example, we can also add new projects or an existing project. And so if I click new project, this will open up kind of this usual uh, VS Code style prompt workflow. So if I were to search for um, Razor Pages or I guess just a, a web app with Razor Pages. So I'll choose that and call this Razor app and just put that in the default directory. And you can see that just pops in down here and that's kind of all nicely managed. Um, one of the things I really like about this extension is that it provides some of these UI-like features without necessarily the full weight of a real UI with like kind of a Windows form um, older style feel. It still feels kind of snappy and just like a thin layer over CLI commands, which is what I really like about this. So the next thing I want to talk about is the code editing experience. So if we open up the program.cs of our minimal API here, um, we just have kind of a starter app, but if I were to go up here on our builder object, and I'll say builder um, dot, you can see right away we get both IntelliCode and IntelliSense. So these items with stars next to them are kind of like AI powered um, or smarter suggestions based on developer coding patterns and such. And then we have our more static analysis type um, IntelliSense prompts below that. So we get both of those in here. Again, this feels like it's adding like core essential features that are really nice to work with without adding a ton of bloat. Um, and this kind of just works pretty well. Now, I know this has been a point of contention. This is one of the features that has not been working for a lot of people in certain versions, uh, the IntelliSense and IntelliCode. And obviously that can be really frustrating. I haven't run into that yet personally, but I can see why people would be upset about that if that's not working. But anyway, that's not the focus here. Um, the other thing is that we get these nice uh, kind of go to definition, go to implementation, go to references. All of these core features are kind of back in our editor. Um, so these are things that I would actually use day to day and some of these other um, nice basic commands. 
So the overall code editor feels powerful, but still really lightweight and snappy. And that's that's kind of that middle ground I'm talking about again. Um, and then over on the left, uh, we have our test explorer. Now you might have noticed I actually kind of arranged this to look a little more like Visual Studio. So I've moved our um, our browser over here on the right and then the solution explorer on the right. But obviously you can put those back on the left by just right clicking up here and choosing uh, some positioning stuff here. But now we also have this built-in test explorer. And this kind of automatically discovered the test that's in our test project. So there's one unit test here that just says one plus one equals two. And so if we were to run these, you can see that'll quickly complete. And I like that this kind of matches the UI of the rest of these panels and options. So like I mentioned earlier, one thing that can be annoying about VS Code is that if you install a lot of different extensions, you kind of get a disjointed or mismatched UI feeling. So I like that these like core components are all kind of bundled together and feel similar. It feels like this is kind of supercharging VS Code with some of those features that I missed from Visual Studio. I also really like that it's really easy to run our app now. So if I were to just right click on really any of these, um, I can just say debug, start new instance. And that's gonna launch uh, right away in the browser. So if I give this a second, and you can see that's already open and we get our nice Swagger UI here for our minimal API. And if I go back to VS Code, um, all of our debugging options are here. So if I were to set a breakpoint and then go back to our browser and try this out again, you can see we hit our breakpoint and we get you know a decent experience um, with that as well. So I'm curious to hear what all of your experiences have been with this uh, C Sharp dev kit. Like I said, I know there has been some controversy around this uh, in terms of how well it's working for people with some of these features, but I just like the overall concept or idea of kind of bringing over some of those core features from Visual Studio so that we don't always have to install extensions for core features that we miss. So please hit subscribe if you enjoyed the video and support the content, and I'll see you next time. Please leave a comment with your thoughts, and thanks for watching.